Hi, my name's Lou. Welcome to my channel. This week's video, I am going to do a kitchen tour. Now, it's been a, about a year since we started doing the kitchen renovation, since we started first taking the old cupboards out and, uh, and, and yeah, doing the big work. And most of that was done within a few weeks but it's taken months to get all of the details right and to get to a point where we feel like, yeah, it is ready, it is complete. And now it is, I want to share it with you. So you might be watching this because you're one of our friends that we've been talking about this kitchen for so long and you actually want to see what we've been up to. You may be planning a kitchen yourself and we might have some ideas that, uh, that might help you in the planning. But I really wanted to make this because I wanted to show off the kitchen doors that were made for us by uh, a great guy who's a friend of ours uh, who goes by the name of the Bearded Woodworker. He's based up in Inverness, but he does work all around the country and uh, they're just brilliant, so I wanted to show them off. So I hope you enjoy this. So the basics are that we've got this L-shaped kitchen in a big light room. It's got this window here, which is south facing and then these two bigger windows over here. So this is the main bit of the kitchen and we got all of our units from Ikea and they were very good and they allowed us to buy all of the units without any doors because we knew we wanted to get them made separately and added on later. So all of the units, they're all this dark Kind of almost black it's like a brownie black color and you can see on the inside and they're really good they come in lots of different sizes so that allowed us to build up really quite high one of the problems with the old kitchen was that we didn't really have a lot of storage so we stored a lot of things on top of the cupboards and one of the problems there was that uh, the, the upper units that we did have before we got these ones, they weren't deep enough, so a whole load of things just didn't fit in them. So we wanted some really deep and tall cabinets, so we built up um, nearly quite as high as we could go. We could have maybe gone a little bit higher. And then over here, we went double height on the upper cabinets. So the ones down here, we've got things in that we use all the time, so mugs and plates and boring things like that. And then we've got some cabinets up here with things that we don't use all that often. And in order to be able to reach all of those things, we keep a little stool tucked away in this alcove, which also has the ironing board in. And we've got this big table in here as well. This came from a friend who got it from another friend. So this is its third home that we know of. And it was a, a yellow pine, but we, uh, we stained the top with this kind of this barn wood effect. And uh, basically you strip it all back and then you paint it with a dark stain. And then you lightly brush some watered down emulsion over the top and it makes it this lovely kind of grayish color. And then we sealed the iron with some, some varnish. The chairs and the table legs, let me bring you down so you can see. These are all painted with chalk paint and then finished with uh, black wax. But uh, it works much better on the green than it did on the yellow. So yeah, so I'm a lot happier with the finish of the, of the green. But you know, once you've started, you've got to kind of carry on. And then this wall over here, we needed to have a cupboard in here because the gas meter is down there. So we built in quite a tall cupboard here. And this is Domino's favorite cupboard. It's where we keep her food. And then we like the idea of having a bench seat. So we actually got three uh, drawers down here. And these are in our actually wall units, but they're hung really low. And then we just fixed some MDF on the top and then upholstered this 
bench seat and I've got a video on how I did this. So the design process at IKEA was really good and it was very flexible. But we did see about three or four different people and it was very obvious that some people knew an awful lot more about what they were doing than others. And then they contract that out, the fitting out to a local builder and they came and put everything in and they were absolutely fabulous. They were great. They did a really, really good job. We had most of the appliances. Um, we'd been slowly replacing them over the few years before we put the kitchen in. So we already had an oven. When our oven broke, we got a new one. And because I like baking, I went and found out what oven they use on the Great British Bake Off and I bought the same one. And it is great. It cooks everything perfectly. But we got the microwave, the fridge freezer, and the extractor unit and the hob. Uh, also from IKEA when we bought the kitchen. And uh, yeah, they've all been great. They've worked fine. Yeah, not got a problem. Uh, we've got our dishwasher in here. And that was just simply uh, attaching a door to the, uh, to the dishwasher that we already had and put it in place. And then in here is our washing machine. It's a washer dryer. And again, we just had to leave a space for it and attach a door. What we might be most impressed with is the uh, the bin system. Previously we had separate bins all on show and just love having them all hidden away like this. Plus there's this little extra drawer that uses up this space under the sink. And then this might be the cupboard that I'm most excited about. Uh, we weren't, we wanted some kind of corner fitting um, so we could make use of all the space that goes back into the corner but we weren't really sure about the carousels so we ordered our own and it pulls out straight out like that and then it turns a corner and you can access everything in the cupboard and I've got all my baking stuff in here all the flour and um, sugar and that kind of thing and the spices so I want to tell you about the kitchen doors now and they are um, they're all real wood and they've been made out of these planks that are um, 20 centimetres wide. They're all attached with tongue and groove and then glued in place. And then because that isn't going to be uh, very strong, they're reinforced with these steel bars that keep them perfectly straight. So these are all made of larch, but the finish on them is, uh, it's, it's lovely. Um, it's something called Shisugiban, and please, please accept my apologies if I've completely mangled the pronunciation. But it's a Japanese technique for preserving wood by burning it. And I went up to Inverness the day that Dave was doing the, the finishing on these and helped him out a little bit uh, with charring some of the wood and you can choose how much char you want to put on them so we went for this where you can still see the grain of the wood but uh, you can go a lot further than this and you can get a lovely kind of crackly effect too and then they're all coated with uh, three coats of clear varnish to seal everything in yeah and love the dark effect that they give and the way that the lines run horizontally all the way around the room so I picked lots of black details for the room, the tap and the sink, the kettle and toaster, and the hob and extractor fan. Really like that dark against the white look. And then the tiles are monochrome too, and we love these. They are from Mandarin Stone, and we installed them ourselves. So yeah, I love grouting. Why do I love grouting tiles so much? I don't know, there's something very satisfying about it. And Dave gave us some offcuts of wood. So we actually finished these ourselves 
burning them with a little blowtorch, cut them to size and varnished them again, and then ordered these like, brass shelf brackets. And they are very, very well secured into the wall. So yeah, so this one's got all of our cookery books on it. That one makes us look like alcoholics, but it doesn't get drunk all that often, which is why we collect so many bottles of it. And then I decided that the top shelf needed something, and so I went and bought some plants. I've got a bit of a gallery wall here, and these are all my prints that I've made, with the exception of the little olive wreath, which is a ceramic piece which we got in Athens. I put together this little collection of things in this wooden box, which my husband thought was a little excessive. He doesn't really do designy details, but I think it really helps keep it all together. A little trivet from H&M Home. Uh, this uh, oil pourer is handmade ceramic and it's by, um, I think it's by a brand called Creatively Occupied. Um, and yeah, you can find them on Not on the High Street. This uh, was a set of measuring cups, but we broke the smaller ones, so now we use it for storing salt. And the uh, little blackboard is a shopping list, so whenever we run out of something you write it on the blackboard and then remember to get it the next time we go to the shops. My husband designed all of the lighting for the kitchen, including this incredible fixture. So he ordered all the parts for it separately and assembled it together. And it's, you can have it like it is currently quite high up, up against the ceiling, or you can lower it and have it as a feature over the table. He also designed and put in the under cabinet lighting, which uh, is in these LED strips. And in some of the cupboards, because they were quite dark, he put in lights that come on automatically in the cupboard when you open the door they're operated by these little switches here and then all the lights operate on remote controls so we've got this one which is a wall panel um, and it's by a company called Lightwave and you can program in different lighting setups so you can have a bright light or a, a moody light so we've been really happy with how the kitchen turned out. It, it works really well, the storage works, there's nothing kind of having to sit out on countertops or on top of the cabinets because everything has a home. We did do a, a fair bit of decluttering when we, uh, when we started the process, so there were quite a few things that we, uh, that we had duplicates of or things that we hadn't used in a long time that went to um, various different homes. and. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, it all works really well. Um, so thank you very much for watching this. If you like this video, then do let me know. If you want to see more content like this, then leave a comment down below. And like and subscribe and all that stuff that really helps me out. And uh, I'd love to see you in another video next week. Bye!